Hello, welcome. Episode number two, the Earth as a Sphere. We want to find the angle between two points on the surface of the Earth. We are saying that the sphere is considered to be the Earth, or the Earth is taken as the sphere. So we want to find the angle between two points. So on the surface of the Earth, what are the angles? Remember, in describing a point on the circle, we consider the latitude before the longitude. So I'll be having latitude 40 degrees north, then I have longitude 20 degrees south, uh, east or west. Remember the first episode, the longitude are from north to the south, bordering to the east or bordering to the west. Then the latitude are also from west to east that are on the top moving closer to the north or moving closer to the uh, the south so let's take for example now if you look at this carefully we are seeing blue blue top and down so the blue lines represent a small circle and that small circle is a latitude that latitude have a point uh d so latitude 70 degrees south latitude 70 degrees south so a point b is on that latitude that circle then point a is also on the latitude 40 degrees world north so there are different latitude that they are but they all have a common longitude they all have a common longitude if you move on this longitude which is longitude 30 degrees east when I'm moving, I meet B. I'll meet A again. So we want to find the angle here. The angle, which is going to be a sector. Let's say A, B. This will be the radius, right? The bigger radius and the center. We want to know this very angle. What angle will be here? Now, in writing the point A, A is going to be latitude 40 degrees north and 30 degrees east that is the the coordinate of the point a so if I, you are locating a point they will give you the latitude they'll give you the longitude so you know your coordinate how you are moving then if in between two points the b will also be given to you as 70 degrees south then 30 degrees what east the, a point, two points, will have a common latitude or a common longitude. Let's consider the longitude in this case. They are all common. Now, so it means we are not going to concern ourselves with the common longitude. We only concern ourselves with the latitude. Now, how will I find this common angle, the angle common to the two of them? We are going to add the two angles. We are adding the two angles to form angle 110, right? How do we come out by adding them? The moment we have the latitude at the opposite side, how do you know at the opposite side? You see north, south, north, south, opposite, north, north. Then they are the same side. Then south, south, they are the same side. The moment they are of different side, we add their angles together. The angular difference. We add them together to give the angle between them. I guess you get that point. So if I have a point C, which is having, let's say, 10 degrees north, then we have 15 degrees what? Uh, east. Then we have a point D, having uh, 30 degrees north and 15 degrees east. What do you think is going to be the angular difference between the point C and D? The angle that we are going to put here. If I put C, D here, what will be the angle, the common angle they will respect? They have the same longitude, so we discard that. We focus on the latitude. 10 north. 30 north. They are on the same side. North and north. So what happened? 
we perform subtraction. We find a difference between the two angles. So in this case, the angle is going to be 30 degrees minus 10 degrees, and that will give us 20 degrees with no south, north, or anything. We are looking for the angle. This very angle at the center, which is going to form the sector. That will be forming the sector. If you cut it out, see this is going to be here. Look at it. The distance between A and B is an arc. Radius, radius. You cut it out, that will be giving you the a sector. I believe this concept is clear. We add the angles if they are of different side. So let's take the center. Compare the standard, uh, how do you call it? Zero latitude, which is the equator. Then we also uh, respect the meridian uh, longitude. This one. We take this one and take this one. We pick up to be different from down. North, south. So north, south, you add. South, south, subtract. North, north, subtract. I believe that went in well, right? Good. Then let's look at the point P, Q, and R. Let's trace and see. What we are seeing here is latitude. So latitude respect north and south. Longitude respect west and east. So this is latitude. Then I'm having longitude 60 degrees east. I'm also having longitude 20 degrees east. I'm having longitude 0 degrees. So these are the longitude we are having. You can see all of them are having a common latitude. They all have a common latitude. So if you want to represent the point P, the point P, we begin with latitude. What is the latitude that the point P is uh, located on? That will be 40 degrees what? South. So you go, you measure 40 degrees south. Then on the latitude, we are picking latitude 20. So 20 east. That is the point uh, coordinate of the point P. Then if I mention Q, I believe at this point, you begin to think of what the coordinate will be. It is also on the same latitude. So I'll be having latitude 40 degrees south. Then on the longitude, on which longitude can I locate Q? Q is longitude what? 60 degrees east. I believe you are moving along with me. Good. Then let's see the R. Let's see R. You can pause and try to see if you can get the, long, the, the latitude and the longitude of the point R. Have you done that? Good. Now let's compare. Let's locate the latitude. We have latitude 40 degrees south. Then on the longitude, I have longitude what? Zero degrees. So we can also add zero degrees west or uh, zero degrees what? East. So I can add west to it in order to show demarcation. All right. So with this, if I want to find the distance, the distance here, PQ, the angle that the distance is forming at the center, when I mean distance, I'm referring to the arc, just like you see here, this arc, the distance between them is representing the arc. So if I mention distance, I'm referring to the arc that is forming the angle at the center. So let me pick one of them. Let's pick PQ, right? P and Q, center. All right, let's go. What will be the angle formed by the arc? P and Q. You see there, the center is here. Remember, that center is not the center of the edge, but the center of the small center. So P, Q is on a common latitude. 40, 40. 40, 40. So we ignore it. We concentrate on the longitude. So longitude 20, 40, east. They are all on the same side. East, east. Remember? On the same side, what do we do? We subtract. So that is going to be 60 degrees minus 20 degrees. 
that give us 40 degrees. So the angle between PQ is going to be uh, 40 degrees. I guess you're okay. Now, let's speak, uh, let's say, R and Q. Let's try this. The angle between R and Q, the distance, the angle that the distance is forming. How do you take it? We are taking the distance. Z R and Q, right? They have a common latitude, so we ignore. Focus on the longitude. What is it going to be? They are different side, right? This is going to be east, west. So different side we add. So we are adding the angle 60 degrees plus what? Zero degrees. And that will give you 60 degrees. I guess you are on course with me, right? So you can be able to find any distance. So I'll be leaving this for you. You do that in the comment section and give us the distance between P and R. So R, P, the distance. Not the distance per se, but the angle formed by the distance between PQ. That arc, what is the angle in substance? This very angle. What to be the angle between P and what? R. So R and P from here. That angle. Alright. So all that we concern ourselves with is what? How to locate the point on the surface of the earth. How do we locate the point? We consider the latitude, consider the longitude. It means latitude first before the longitude. So the point A is going to be described as on which longitude, uh, latitude, sorry, on which latitude is on the latitude of 40 north degrees north. Then on which longitude? On the longitude of 30 degrees east. So we can be able to identify the point. That is one. Two, if we have two points and they are angles, from the common angle formed by the two points, how do we arrive? Since we are having 40, 30, 70, 30, how do we have the common angle? We find the common angle by either adding or subtracting, or addition or subtraction. We add if the latitude, which is the different latitude, on different side. Different side mean north, south. South, north, we add. North and north, we subtract. South and south, we subtract. So in the case of this, they have a common longitude, right? So we focus on the latitude. In the case of this, they have a common latitude. The common latitude. So we consider the longitude. I believe we've, we have a fair knowledge on how to find the angles, how to locate the point, how to describe it. Good. This is the episode 2. Episode 3, we will now learn how to find the distance. The length or the distance in kilometers. What is the, the distance between PQ? In this case, the length of the arc. Here, we are only concerned about the angle the arc is forming at the center. So, the next episode, we will learn to know what is the distance between that two points on the surface of the earth. Don't forget that episode. For that matter, share this video. Like it. Pause the video and like it. Leave a comment for us to get interactive. If you understand what is happening, say something in the comment section for us to know we are one family. Share, like, subscribe, and comment.